Hi, this is Josh from Romella, and today I'm going to show you how to grease a Cut 200 SP. Uh, we're going to go through both the sub-program that you need to do and what you need to do manually uh, to keep the machine up and running. Uh, the machine will let you know when you need to grease. Uh, it'll actually be on the maintenance page. You'll get a warning that says the machine needs to be greased. Uh, and then on the consumables, you'll see this time before greasing. Right now we're negative, which means that you have to be greasing. Uh, so the first thing that we're gonna do is come over here. We're gonna turn on the pumps, fill up the tank because the machine's gonna move during the greasing process. And then right here on the manual page, we have our user buttons and all the way to the right is the greasing uh, macro. So we're going to hit that and we're going to hit go. What's going to happen in the greasing macro is the machine's going to move to different positions and we're going to have we're going to have access in the back to uh, different rails and different uh, ball screws that need to be greased. So this is position one. Now we can go to the back and uh, do the first set of greasing. I'm actually gonna turn off the pumps uh, so that uh, there's not as much noise. All right, so to get to the greasing ports, uh, we actually need to move both the wire tank and this back cover. So have someone help you out and uh, we're gonna put this down on the ground. We'll do this in post editing. Don't put it down on the ground, just move it over to the side. Remove the back cover. And now we have access to the back. So uh, here we see the whole entire uh, assembly, uh, the X and Y axis. Uh, right here we have the X axis, so you can actually see the rails that it rests on right here, which is what we need to grease. And here uh, is actually the ball screw and motor that controls it. On top here is the Y axis. And once again, uh, you can see, actually right now we can't see the rails and in the next position we'll be able to see the rails, but this is the motor that controls it. Um, so right now, uh, what we need to do is grease the rails and I'm gonna go grab the grease and put some gloves on. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, the position we're in right now, we can actually clean off the dirty grease off of the X axis. So that's the first thing we're gonna do now. You can actually see two of the rails and the needle bearings exposed right now. Uh, there's actually two on the back that you also need to get uh, and you kind of have to do it blind. So all you're trying to do is get, a, get rid of the dirty grease and then we'll apply new fresh grease. All right, now that we've removed the old excess grease, what we're gonna do is take new fresh grease and we're just gonna uh, apply it with our fingers. So just give a liberal amount and rub it on the both the rails and the needle bearings. There should be a thin layer of uh, new grease that coats uh, everything. Now that we've greased the one side of the X axis, we've got to come back here, turn the pumps back on, fill up the tank. However, notice with the green and red, we're still in the greasing program. Uh, so once the tank's full, we can move to the next position, which will expose the other side of the X axis and the Y axis. So now we're seeing that it moves to the exact opposite side. We're gonna repeat the same procedure. I'm gonna turn off the pumps and we'll go back there, wipe off the excess grease and add more grease. So here you can see now uh, that it's exposed the other side of the X axis and here also now you can see the Y axis. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean up both of those, uh, same procedure. Here you have the same four rails 
that we had on the x-axis uh, and the rails for the y-axis are there's two up here one here and one here and then there's two down here one here and one here and then there's two ball screws for the y-axis here and here and one ball screw right there uh, first we're gonna do the rails and then we're actually gonna grease the uh, ball screws through uh, these nipple ports here All right, so now once again, uh, we have all of the old grease off, so we're just gonna liberally apply uh, new grease to all of the rails and uh, roller pins. Now that the rails have been done, uh, we can do the ball screws. And so for that, you use the gun and make sure you have it on. So what you wanna do is apply it to the nipple. You wanna shove it on there pretty hard uh, and get a good connection. And you also want it pretty straight on. And what you're looking for is for new grease to be squirting out of the ball screw. If you just see it squirting out of the connection, that means it's not getting through. So see how the grease is coming out of the ball screw? Keep going until you see brand new grease coming out. So that's good right there. So we did the top X axis. Now we're gonna do the top Y axis. Bottom Y. And finally bottom X. So that's it for greasing all of the axes. Now we need to go back over to the front of the machine, turn the pumps back on, fill up the tank. And now what we're gonna do once the tank is full, uh, we're gonna finish the greasing cycle. So go through one more time. It's gonna move to another position. It's gonna ask you to hit cycle start one more time. Go for it. And then one more. This last cycle is going to take about 10 minutes and what it's going to do is it's going to go throughout the range of motion of the machine, uh, spreading the grease out evenly. So just let it go for about 10 minutes and the timer, the grease timer will reset, You'll, that warning will go away and you're good to go.